Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How each state voted in 2020. The 2020 U.S. presidential election was one of the most highly anticipated elections in recent history. Voters in each state cast their ballots for either the Democratic or Republican candidate. The electoral votes from each state determined the winner. And in the United States, each state has a certain number of electoral votes based on its population. The candidate who wins the majority of votes in a state typically receives all of that state's electoral votes. This system is known as the Electoral College. And in 2020, some states were considered battlegrounds due to their potential to swing either way. These states included Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Florida. The results in these states were closely watched as they played a crucial role in determining the overall outcome. The election saw a record number of mail-in ballots due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This led to delays in counting votes in some states. Despite these delays, the results were certified by each state. The final electoral vote count was 306 for the Democratic candidate and 232 for the Republican candidate. This result was confirmed by the Electoral College in December 2020. Each state's voting results were certified by state officials, ensuring the accuracy and integrity of the election. The process included recounts in some states where the results were very close. The 2020 election also saw a high voter turnout, with millions of Americans participating in the democratic process. This high turnout was a testament to the importance of the election and the engagement of the electorate, NUN. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.